What's up, tubers? Double K here. Today, I'm sharing my experience. My new toy has arrived, and it is the Steam Deck, which we are going to unbox. It is the 512 gigabyte model, so it comes with the custom case and the power supply. I purchased for now a uh, 256 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. This is uh, known to be one of the better ones, faster ones, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm also uh, interested in uh, trying out maybe Windows on this, like I've seen a lot of people have done. And we're going to get back to this in just a second. We'll get it opened up. All right, guys, so here we go. We have a uh, power supply, which is C, USB-C, the charger. It's hardwired in, so you can't. Um, plug it like you used to with uh, your other charging devices like Apple and uh, Android where you can plug a USB or C into a brick. This is hardwired. It comes with it. So uh, it's plain and simple. Here is 512 gigabyte Steam Deck. This is the top model that you can buy. Uh, this is the case that it comes with. This is pretty interesting. We have a little bag that it came with. I'm thinking that this will be for the power supply. This is pretty cool. Got a little steam tag on it as well. So that would go in there, storage. And we have a little band here to hold it in place with the case, which is pretty uh, cool design. So yeah, this is the, apparently this case is specific to this model only. And uh, you got your Q&A quality assurance tag on it. We're gonna go ahead and there it is, christen it in. This is packaging. I'm not gonna spend uh, 15 minutes on the video taking the plastic over this now, I'll do that later. I know some people make you sit there and watch them do. Let's keep moving. So here we go. Moment of truth, wow, look at that, huh? It's absolutely amazing. It's a lot bigger than I thought, too. I mean, I've seen plenty of videos on it. Okay, let's see uh, what this case looks like. So this is the custom case that it comes with. Oh, this is a little um, cloth, like uh, back in the day, with your eyeglasses, cleaning cloth. That's cute. How cool is that? So, I mean, uh, I'm really impressed with the amount of detail they put into this. It's the little things that matter, right? So, I'm looking forward to uh, actually getting this up and running and getting some of my library games down on it. I'm really interested in seeing if, how Dying Light 2 is going to respond on this. And also, uh, I am a retro gamer, and I plan on, uh, on aside from playing my regular PC games that I would play online on here, uh, which I'm going to cover in a little while, getting some of my retro games on here. You know, your typical Pac-Man and all the stuff you played in the arcade growing up. I actually built my own arcade, and maybe uh, if anybody's interested, I can do a tutorial on that, on uh, how I built my own arcade with a Raspberry Pi uh, in the future. So yeah. So stay tuned and uh, we'll come back uh, with some more progress once I get this thing plugged in and powered up and we'll go from there. All right guys, we're back, we're powered up here. Uh, just trying to show you step-by-step -step unboxing one of these things, uh, my experience anyway. Touch screen, select your uh, time zone. Then you gotta find your network that you're going to use. And 
and then we'll go ahead and put the password in. All right, now that we got that in, go ahead and connect. Password, show advanced settings, okay, connect. Okay, A, we are done. Can we, uh, oops, continue. Well, we can even hit it down here instead of the buttons. It's pretty cool, okay. So now we're installing. While we're waiting for that to load, I'll give you a, a little peek. Um, one of the things I'm gonna be looking to do is I built my own arcade and um, I'm a big retro gamer, as I said earlier. And I'm gonna be looking to incorporate all these games onto the Steam Deck itself. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek of uh, things to come. Well, I'll be able to online game and let's say you didn't have an internet connection, you're on a plane or something. I mean, you could have a couple hundred of your favorite retro games from back in the day. Uh, I mean, anything from Nintendo to a real arcade to, you know, Super Nintendo, uh, Turbo Graphics. Uh, we have a lot of great stuff here, PlayStation. So yeah, I just wanted to run you through this real quick while we're waiting for that to install. So yeah. Okay, so it looks like we are installed. We're gonna go ahead and move forward and see what we've got. All right, so now we just have to log in to Steam itself with our Steam account. All right, so we've just uh, entered our credentials and uh, we went, went to my email and I got the verification code, two-step authentication. Uh, to get in and so this is where it brings us welcome to the steam deck quick tour device tap the screen to continue and so this is going to walk you through tutorial which we're not going to go through every step uh, it's a self-explanatory and it would be your own experience if you're setting up your own steam deck but you get the idea uh, it's going to tell you how to navigate around what it's about so we'll come back in just a sec so we just went through the basic uh, who's what's with all the buttons. I uh, should be logged in by Steam Deck and uh, this is pretty cool. Here is my uh, gaming library. It automatically imported it in. So right now I'm big on Dying Light 2. That's my go-to for now. Uh, even with the Steam Deck, uh, the replayability is awesome on uh, Dying Light, the first one. I would definitely play that again. I did start on uh, Metro Exodus. And uh, I'm gonna start getting a little bit more into that. That looks pretty cool. I am waiting for the day, what is it, the day after, or the day before coming out in June. That's like a division slash zombie game all in one. It looks really cool. I hope they pull it off. Uh, Outriders was a lot of fun, but that's sort of out of the mix now. Destiny 2, I played with a little bit, but uh, other games took more precedent that I was more interested in. Uh, Surviving Mars, I just got this for free, so I figure we'll have it there. Doom Eternal, I'm a big Doom fan from back in the day. I'm talking on the PC when Doom was really Doom and not what it is today. I'm not discounting it, but um, this particular one uh, wasn't for me. Uh, I bought it, but uh, I only played it a handful of times and I just really lost interest in it. And the old Fallout 4 from back in the day, so yeah. So I'm gonna be getting into this a bit. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So this is what it looks like so far. And uh, I'll get back to you with some, maybe some gameplay and uh, show you how things look. So coming back to Dying Light 2. Uh, Dying Light 1 is verified to work on the Steam Deck. Uh, I haven't heard anything on Dying Light 2. I can't see why it wouldn't work, being at the same company and pretty much the same, you know, development. But so when I went to Dying Light 2 in my Steam library, I have the option to install it. So I'm going to click install. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's not verified. It's just telling me, but we're going to go ahead and install it anyway. And it's going to be interesting to see. And uh, so we're going to go along with that. So here we're downloading Dying Light 2. Here's just a note I wanted to add. Uh, if you see Steam Cloud is unable to sync. So I was playing this game earlier, or last night. I know it says last play today, but that's not correct for some reason. Uh, also because the Steam Cloud is unable to sync. So like a lot of us, you know, if you're on your game, getting your game on before work, 
and it's almost time to go to work you know you're playing the game to the last bare minute that you can and then you'll just like shut down the game shut your computer off and jump in the shower to get to work on time um so if you shut down the game and shut your computer off really quickly a lot of times your current progress on the game isn't synced to the cloud so to fix this error from what i found from experience uh, what works for me is i would go and power my pc back on open up steam open up the game and it would bring everything back up to date and then this error would clear here so i just wanted to throw that in there uh, because that's something i didn't know until recently i just learned and i wanted to share it with you all right so we have dying light 2 installed it took quite some time because my internet isn't the best uh, once I did install it, I did have it up and running. I was playing it, getting a little bit used to it on the Steam Deck, and it froze on me. I believe that was because my internet isn't that great. But um, then I went back and I found that there's a new update available for the Steam Deck. It was a BIOS update because the Steam Deck was one of the first uh, batches off the assembly line of the pop-up said. So I did the BIOS update, and since I did that, and I came back to it, you see Dying Light 2, and I'll hit play. And this is a little disheartening, because it was exciting. And I'm sure it'll be fixed for it soon, hopefully, but it's ready to launch, and then it just keeps coming back to the regular screen. So unfortunately at this time, unless there's something I could do or change, I have to learn a little bit more. I just wanted to share out of the box with just a regular gaming guy, uh, my experience with this. On, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install Dying Light uh, 1, which I also own. But uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, I'm still excited about a lot of the possibilities coming up that I'll be able to do with this, and I'll have more content for you soon. All right, guys, we're back with some final thoughts on my experience with the new Steam Deck. Um, I was able to get Dying Light 2, up and running. How? I don't exactly know. I did a BIOS update after it froze and uh, it was still just circling from uh, the load screen back to the regular uh, start menu. So I fooled around some other things. I installed uh, Dead Island. I got that really cheap so I figured I'd throw it in there. And I'm also going to give you a quick update on RetroArch and the direction I'm starting to work on with that. But as you can see, Dying Light 2. We're loading in now. Right, so here we are. And uh, we got some. Can't let darkness and ignorance reign. Ignorance needs to remain the saving state. Oh. You see, it's pretty smooth. So you can see we got some pretty good gameplay here. Just wanted to give you a quick view of that. Dying Light 2, even though it's not verified yet for the Steam Deck, uh, it seems to be working pretty good once I got it up and running. I don't know exactly what I did, but uh, there was something called Proton that was also downloaded, and I checked off a box in the properties to force it to load anyway or something. I don't know if that helped me or not. But uh, anyway, it's working. Well, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon with some pretty cool updates. Thanks again for watching, guys. Double K here for KevTech. Be excellent to each other.